for me, perfect race is a solid start. Really, that makes the race for me. If I come off the blocks and my goggles stay on my face and I feel streamlined and I feel like my body was tight and I feel like I'm moving through the water um, right before I break out of the surface for my first strokes, that really does it for me. Sarah Evans is practicing her technique in the home of the 2012 Olympic Games, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park in London, preparing for the first Invictus Games. Last year, uh, Prince Harry came to Colorado Springs to uh, observe and participate at the Warrior Games. And he got to visit many venues. He competed in sitting volleyball. I don't know if he competed in anything else, but I think he saw the benefit that all of the athletes were um, receiving through sports um, in their healing process. Now the United States' wounded warriors, made up of athletes from all the services, are here to compete against 12 other countries. Today, coaches like Missy are giving final tips before the games begin this week. A lot of the events that we do are going to be sprint distance, so we want to maximize their power and efficiency off the start and off the turn. Go. Um, up to this point, we assume that their fitness level is what it is. We're not going to be able to change their fitness level knowing them or training them for a couple days. So we want to give them the tips that are going to be the most effective, the quickest. Yeah, you're, yeah that, that happens a lot when you start thinking about racing. These athletes have been training for months and as the games draw closer and closer, the tension begins to mount. I'm waiting for the nerves to hit because I know they're coming and I know that on competition day when I walk in here and the crowd is full and I know that my friends are in the stands and I know that we're getting ready for real and all of the you know, teams are here and we're all in our gear. I think it's gonna hit me really hard. I'm trying to keep it in check, because I know that'll just you know, be in a disadvantage if I, if I get too worked up over it, but I know it's coming. I know those nerves are gonna, they're gonna be there. Many warriors like Sarah will wear their nation's colors and compete in many more Olympic style events throughout this week. Reporting from London, England, I'm Staff Sergeant Pete Ising.